All right, good morning, everybody. On my Twitter feed, uh, meteorologist Greg D here in the ABC Action News Weather Center. We are tracking severe thunderstorms out in the Gulf right now, and some of these may be impacting us later on today. So this is an important forecast you need to really pay attention to as things may get uh, a little wild, a little rainy, and definitely windy for the rest of the day as we continue to track these storms. So let me show you the closer look here uh, as far as what we're expecting. Now, there is a chance that some of these, again, will be strong to severe. The Storm Prediction Center has everyone here in the yellow under a slight risk of severe weather, but they did let us know that uh, just before nine o'clock, they're going to upgrade central Florida, including the Bay Area, to an enhanced risk of severe weather. That's another notch up in terms of the intensity of the storms. They're really concerned about damaging winds, though cannot rule out an isolated tornado out of these storms. There have been some tornado warnings to our north this morning out towards St. Augustine and Jacksonville. And right now, there is no rain around Tampa Bay. Some sprinkles and showers popping up. Very small here. No severe weather. If you've got things to do, you want to make sure you get it in before the weather moves in. Do it now. Do it this morning before noon. I think you're going to be okay. It's later this afternoon and especially tonight that the strongest of the storms move in. To our north, there is a tornado watch until 3 o'clock this afternoon. That does officially include Citrus County, including you folks in Crystal River. I don't think that the threat there in Citrus County is all that high. I think that's going to be made mainly to the north of you, but a couple of these thunderstorms may clip the northern portions of Citrus County. Temperatures in the 80s, that's a big deal. It's just warm and humid out there. Temperature 81 Plant City, 83 in Tampa, 81 in Clearwater, and 82 over toward Bradenton, Wachula over toward Arcadia. Low 80s right now. It is just a very sticky and warm start. The big news today outside of the thunderstorms is just going to be the strong wind. Some of these wind gusts forecast for the afternoon. 35 to 40 miles an hour. They could see gusts over 40 miles an hour in Bradenton and Sarasota. And you see all this purple here in the Gulf just to the north of Clearwater and to the west of Newport Ritchie over towards uh, Crystal River. These are wind gusts that could be over the water 40 to 50 miles an hour. So just be careful out over the open Gulf. Six to eight foot seas, very rough waters, very dangerous to be out there today unless you're an experienced boater or have a large boat. Small craft certainly should stay in port. Mid to upper 80s right now for the noon hour. That's the forecast. Brooksville, Zephyr Hills, Lakeland, Bartow could be near 90 as well as over towards Lake Wales. As we advance future casts into the afternoon, this is when things will start to bubble up. After lunch, two o'clock, a broken line of thunderstorms approaching Hernando Pasco over towards Pinellas and and Hillsborough counties. As we continue through the afternoon, that line intensifying over our area. This is when we could be seeing some of those strong winds, maybe downing trees and power lines moving in. That unfortunately coincides with the evening drive. Look what happens between 4 and 6 p.m. Those thunderstorms continue to move in. Gusty winds, lightning and thunder and torrential rain will definitely make the evening drive much more challenging than what we saw this morning. Yeah, the wind will be there as well, just like it is this morning, but then we're going to add heavy rain, lightning and thunder as well. And of course, power lines down means there could be some traffic signals that are out as well. 8 o'clock, the worst of the weather should move to the east uh, towards portions of Polk, Hardy, DeSoto, and Highlands County. So Sebring over towards Zolfo Springs, Arcadia. That's when you'll be getting some of your stronger storms. Showers left over for Tampa and St. Pete. Showers continue during the overnight. Early in the morning on Thursday before 6 a.m., there could be some additional thunderstorms that develop along the cold front. We'll start off with some clouds very early, but by the afternoon, beautiful sunshine, west wind, drier air coming in. The humidity just takes a big nosedive, and it is going to feel great for Thursday afternoon right into the weekend. So here's how it looks. For the northern areas of our viewing area, Crystal River, you're an example. Rain chances highest midday into the early afternoon. Temperatures holding in the upper 70s. Farther south toward Tampa, we're going to get up into the mid 80s. Our rain chances pushed a little later. The farther south you are, the later the storms are going to move in. So Tampa, maybe 2 to 6 p.m. for the biggest window of highest rain chances. And I'm really eyeing that 4 to 6 to 8 p.m. period as uh, the most likely to see rain and thunderstorms. Even farther south in Sarasota, I think it's going to be after 4 p.m. that you'll see the strongest of the storms, probably 5, 6, 7. Temperatures in the 80s until then, then we fall back into the 70s. Seven-day forecast looking really good as we approach Thursday sunshine return temperatures well into the 80s uh, and take a look at Friday looks nice as well. The weekend a little hot Saturday and Sunday low 90s low humidity on Saturday 
just a bit more humid on Sunday. So I'm going to put in a slight chance of a pop up during the afternoon. All right, this is important all day long today. I'll be watching the radar and tweeting and posting updates mainly on Twitter, some on Instagram videos and pictures at Greg do weather. And hey, if you get a great shot today from the storms, maybe some cool looking clouds, maybe a water spout, the surf, the wind, send it to me. At Greg Dew Weather, Twitter, Instagram, at Greg Dew Weather on Facebook, Facebook.com slash Greg Dew Weather. Post your weather pictures there. I'm going to be showing them all morning long tomorrow. Hopefully, we won't have too much to show, and hopefully, we'll also get some heavy rain. These storms could drop one to two to three inches of rain, and I know that is very much needed in your backyards. All right, everybody, stay safe. Another update with that new severe weather outlook from the Storm Prediction Center. That's coming up in about 20 minutes on ABC Action News at 9 o'clock.